Okay. How Melee's biggest cheater was caught. That's right. Cheating in Melee isn't often, but there was one example of a man who got away with it. Well, he initially got away with it until he didn't. And this was a Pichu player in the Midwest. Well, if I told you that in 2016, an up and coming Pichu main was defeating top players in his home state of Ohio, but it turned out that everything was a lie. This player would start his journey as a regular tournament attendee, doing practice routines and even making discussion boards on analyzing top players like Hungry. Wait, what? He he made tournament attendee doing practice routines and even making discussion boards on analyzing top players like Hungry Box. At first, everything seemed fine. There'd be suspicions that something was off. He'd begin to beat top players in Ohio more often than usual at a relatively fast rate. Until one day, it was discovered that he had been cheating by modding his Wii and by inputting a specific button combination, his Pichu would go from low tier to absolutely broken. What was that? To ab- It gave him Marth down to what the f- How did this take a year to discover? This would have taken me one tournament. I watched him like, get the f- How? Absolutely broken. Today- He's using a doped Pichu, dude. <laughs> This is the story of Pichu Gate, aka Super Pichu. Okay, I will say that the, the editor got he went a little bit too he got he gave himself a little bit too much liberty. He was like, Do I name this video the Night of the Living Pichu? <laughs> Do I name this video Pichu Gate? <laughs> Do I name this video Super Pichu? He just know him, how many it's good. Of music in the in the brackets. Okay, guys. What? You're gonna tell me no one saw this? Really? At 45? Okay, that that down tilt. He was a young kid, being around 13 years 13? old. 13. With high ambitions, he set out to be the best Pichu player in the world, and even making a Smash Sports post detailing HBox's movements in the form of a heat map. That showed where HBox would position himself in high level matches by trying to implement techniques that top players use. I remember that post so amazing. I'm like, damn, someone really, f they, they, they saw some cool stuff. Like, that was around the time I was rank one. I'm like, all right, you know, I didn't realize like it was this was the guy actually doing it. When you, there's some bottom tier characters where you're just like, hey, may, maybe I can push this character. Maybe it's underrated. Like, with Don't Test Me and Roy, you know, like maybe it just takes the right person. The problem with Pichu is that Pichu's so bad that just whenever you select Pichu on the character select screen, no one's gonna take you seriously because the character is meant to like lose. It's meant to hurt hurt themselves. Still not the worst character in the game. I think if anyone chooses Pichu, Kirby, or Bowser, they're half shit posting you, they're half trolling you. Oh, uh, there are some people who are specialists and they really, really enjoy it, but when Pikachu is right there, it's hard to wonder why you would choose Pichu. Eventually, he'd start to slowly climb up the ranks, beating players who he often lose to, and with the amount of work that he put in, the results started showing slowly but surely. With the tournament having players such as Joey Krizzle, Surf Sub Hail Satan, Chaos himself wait, being present and be wait, What was his tag? Having players such as Joey Krizzle, Surf Sub Hail Satan. <laughs> Surf's up Hail Satan. Oh my on the way. With the tournament having players such as Joey Krizzle, Surf Sub Hail Satan. Chaos what the f is wrong with Ohio? Himself. And one of those players who brought a setup was Chaos himself. Okay, and there's the aforementioned Wii, the, the smoking gun, this whole thing. This Wii right here is what allowed him to cheat. Remember when I said check the disc? I would I'll be lying if I wasn't thinking about situations just like this. After a bit of back and forth arguing on whether to play on Chaos's very own setup or a different setup in the venue, in the <laughs> end, they decided to play on Chaos's Wii setup. They both sit down, pick their mains, and the game begins. When the game starts, Remix feels as if he can't do anything. He tries approaching, and some moves just outright beat his attacks. So then, he changes his style. Remix now begins to laser camp, and they go back and forth in stocks. Guys, guys. Stocks. No, nah, the... Like, are you, are you actually kidding me? He wasn't even trying to be subtle. Like, what?
No subtlety. And that Nair is huge now. He made Pichu heavier? Oh, no, 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 no. They should have. Oh my god. I'm I'm so glad someone caught this fucking guy. It's so blatant. What? That's bigger than like Peach Pikachu out there. They gave Pichu a fucking shine spike. No way. The whale tail? Yeah. I would have. <laughs> I would have called such bullshit. He won this game. Okay, he lost. What is that? Like Game & Watch size Nair? Like what is... Go what? That forward smash is, is the strongest thing ever now. With a 2-1 loss in round one of the winner's bracket, he'll need to step up his game big time since he's now in the loser's bracket, which means he's at a huge risk of being eliminated from the whole tournament. Having the eye of the tiger, Chaos does this. Oh my god. What is this loser's run? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> Chaos had managed to defeat five different opponents back to back with each score being 2-0. Oh which my god. Which means that he beat every single person what? that came his way in the best of three without ever losing a single game. Yo. He first beat Coco, a Foxman who was the fourth seed of the bracket, Array, a Marthman who wasn't a top player but was a respectable Marth nonetheless, defeated Freki, John Ganjin, and even managed to defeat Surf's Up Hail Satan, a Puffman who was on the verge of becoming top 10 in Ohio at the time. <laughs> How is it that a Pichu player who is on Not Surf's Up Hail Satan manages to defeat a Puff player using his limited amount of kill setups? Pichu Puff is not in a real See, matchup. Pichu in the Jigglypuff matchup has to use moves like Down Air, Nair, and Up Smash. Which, as you can see from this matchup chart from 2010, Pichu is at a large disadvantage. I love this matchup chart because it, which is, it looks like you just spilt Skittles everywhere. You can see from this matchup chart from 2010, Pichu is at a large disadvantage against Jigglypuff. So how is it that a newcomer who just joined the scene in 2014 just suddenly came out of nowhere and started beating all these different players who came from different eras? Now the thing is, Minty and Chaos were arguing for some time on whether to play on Chaos's Wii or on another setup. Oh. To some people, this was weird. Why was it that there would be constant arguments on where to play tournament matches? Some people didn't think much of it, but a small number of people began to question it little by little. Once the set began, oh. Chaos wins the game with a clean 2 0, oh. eliminating the Fox player and sending him home. This time, he plays against Joey Crizzle. And Ice Climbers Joey made Crizzle. in the Losers Finals. Ice Climbers wait, wait, wait. is a character that has the ability to. I see Pichu is like 10 0, or like it's like a, it's like a 90 10 matchup. It wasn't enough for the Ice's main because Chaos would end up beating Joey 3 to 1. An anonymous melee player would eventually come out, claiming that something was certainly off. During one of the games against Joey Crizzle, the Pichu main was observed F smashing on the right side of Pokemon Stadium. What? against Joey Crizzle. The Pichu main was observed F smashing on the right side of Pokemon Stadium during a stage transformation that killed the Ice's main <laughs> at 18%. As said before, 18? 10th in the bracket. While Joey, well, he was seated number three in the entire tournament. But again, many saw this as an impressive win among the Ohio Smash scene. Insane. And rightfully so, because this Pichu main was making waves across the melee scene. Since he beat Joey Crizzle in the Losers Finals, he now moves on to Grand Finals against the one and only 4%, who is again, top 100 in the world. This would be one of the biggest upsets in Melee history. <laughs> this is a best of five. Bro. And so, the match begins. Don't tell me he wins, man. Pichu Puff?
Okay, 71 it should kill, but off the top is so funny. That means it was so powerful. It's like, it's like Ganon up tilt. No, he's getting cooked. Did this beat roll out? <laughs> That's actually so funny. Chaos takes game one. Back it for the kill. Oh, uh, Alp Smash does kill there. That Nair is the stupidest thing. The, the, you know what's funny? This should have been the biggest giveaway that this guy was trash. Just mash! Mash like three inputs you get out. At 19, you wake up. It's, it's just crazy, guys. He's getting destroyed. <laughs> what the f No! I almost killed! Game 5. Very close set. Who will take the tournament? Okay, that was a nutty rest. Hold on. I'm gonna steal that. <laughs> that was a sick rest. Run off. Okay, it's close. Oh. So 4% won. Chaos loses to 4%. This was a tournament where money was involved. People's hard-earned cash were on the line. A competition to see who was the best. In the end, 4%, Chaos, and Joey Krizzle got top three. You got paid the players for it. who won a cash prize for their respective placing. Yep. Once the tournament had ended, that means he stole Chaos money. was very happy to go home with some extra change in his pocket. Just by beating everyone scene. and getting second place. Or so everyone thought he did. After some time, People started becoming even more suspicious and how this Pichu player, only having been in the scene for a couple years, came close to beating one of the best puff mains in the entire world. It was one day when a melee fest was planned for all players to come and enjoy some melee, just to chill and have a great time, when one of the players that happened to show up was Chaos himself, with his own setup. Oh my god. And once again, there are suspicions surrounding. Don't tell me someone got footage of him playing on his own setup in a, Chaos, in a fest. Not being That's so baller. That's so The rules and tournament play. The plan was for <laughs> some melee players out. to go to a Sheets convenience store, which is located nearby. Wait, and the war. The ride. Wait, have you guys ever been to Sheets? Melee players to go to a Sheets convenience store, which is located. Sheets is great. You ever have the fries from Sheets? It's awesome. It's like a Wawa. Uh, it's like uh, the lore is great. Shout out to Sheets. They said, bro, wait, wait. They invited him to a Smash Fest. They brought the camera and they told him to go to Sheets. They, they, they played him. They played him like a, like a fill. Get nearby and invite Chaos to join the ride. When the group left, those who stayed where all the melee action was taking place decided to copy Chaos's SD card with a separate one, keeping it secured until it was time to see what was inside. Wait, wait, wait. They separate one. All the melee action was taking place decided to copy Chaos's SD <gasps> card with a separate they one. They copied his SD card. It until it was time to see what was inside. Once everyone came back, everything seemed normal, even to Chaos. The melee menu theme playing in the background and controllers being pressed left and right. When it was time to end the melee fest, Chaos and others left, but not the newly SD card. <laughs> Bro, only in Ohio. This is... <laughs> Check the disc! Because it was right in the palm of their hands. <laughs> it was now time it was a sting. to reveal what was hiding in plain sight. And then, this video leaked out to the public. Get on the ledge. Oh! Just eat it. Up be as fast as you can, spam it.
Holy shit. To the average player, nothing seems to be weird. The angle. Since it's just Pichu using a down tilt to get Falco off stage. But to the experienced individual, the hitbox is 100% modded <laughs> in that this down tilt is extended to cover more space. Players with the newly copied SD card found out that by inputting a specific button combination and picking the blue color This video is valid, great. Oh, so it, it was only on blue Pichu specifically. The character would become the now dubbed Super Pichu. <laughs> when messing around with Super Pichu's movement and hitboxes, major things were discovered. Like his down tilt having. Oh my god. What is. Like, that's not. It's so blatant. God. Down tilt having increased movement in hitboxes. Major things were discovered. Like his down tilt having increased range. Invincibility during his up air animation. His weight being changed from 55 to 90. 55 to 90. A crazy neutral air hitbox. Lagless moves like his forward air and forward smash being able to kill at such a low percent. What the f It was also discovered that Chaos would ask this question on Smash Sports to the creator of the 20XX Hack Pack training mod, Achilles, days before the ARG monthly. Wow, bro, he self-reported! What are the names of the DAT files for the PAL and SD remix versions of the characters in 20XX 4.05? Pichu mainly. He self-reported. The breadcrumbs were there. To the creator of the 20XX Hack Pack training mod, Achilles, days before the ARG monthly. But this could just be a coincidence. A couple days after the Super Peach discovery, a Reddit post made by Dan Salvato, creator of the 20XX Tournament Edition, not to be confused with the previous Hack Pack, made a detailed post surrounding the event and even created a video on the scary ways the tournament melee scene could be faced with hackers in the future. Along with the linked playlist that contained footage of Super Pichu winning games against top players oh in the region. Oh my god. And to be clear, I did watch the videos. But it all came to a sudden stop when something unfortunate came at my way. The thing is, most of the footage that was linked in the Reddit thread used to be viewable. And that anyone who was interested in the topic or the story could watch it. But it is now considered lost. And that during my research to make this video, I tried to get in contact with members in the Ohio Melee region who happen to know more about the whole Pichu situation. They deleted the VODs, one dude. Day, this became a lo lost footage, lost content. Gone. But ever since I asked people in the Ohio region about the whole Super Pichu situation from actual witnesses, the playlist was all taken down, <laughs> never to be seen ever again. Okay, actually this wasn't them taking it down, that was Nintendo taking down modded versions of their game and footage of it. Thank you very much. Although if you try going back to the Wayback Machine, you are able to watch the only two videos that were archived in the playlist, which is S1- They used the Wayback Machine?! One versus Chaos, as well as the one against Sweet. Other than that, as of this recording, the playlist is now considered to be lost media. Aside from that, Super Pichu would be the first ever recorded case of in-game cheating wow. in the whole lifespan of Melee's release. The first and only case. In the end, Chaos was banned and was required to redistribute his tournament winnings and money matches he had won using the Super Pichu. We all hope that something like this never happens one more time. Dude, he was forced to give back the money he won for tournaments and money matches. Which means everyone you know is like, bro, he money matched me? Yeah, I lost 200 bucks to him. There was probably people r ranking up his ankles, just getting every doll they could out of him, and rightfully so. That's funny we'll as hell. Know could you imagine? Until that day strikes again. Bro, he... That was a good video. That is actually insane. But like I said, if, if, if you had watched this footage... Teens ...and even making discussion board... Start taking more often than usual at a relatively fast rate. Like this, this right here is all I needed to see. The thumbnail for this video should just be this right here. That's that's the, that's the only image that you need. And guys, I gotta say, you know, if it ever gets to the point where you need to need to feel the need to cheat in melee or in Smash Bros to do this, you, you gotta just rethink your priorities in life. Point is, I know winning feels good, but winning feels a lot better when you earn it. You, you, like, you cannot pop off on a cheated win. You can't do it. There's been a lot of cases of cheating in video games, um, especially in speedrunning. 
what I got worried about is this guy brought his Wii, right? He, in order for him to cheat, he had to bring his own modded hardware from home. What I always fear is the idea that with all these box controllers that are allowed, I'm not saying box controllers are inherently cheating, obviously. They're, they have an advantage, but it's not cheating. But it would be very simple with some very simple electrical engineering knowledge to get one of those big ass box controllers and insert a macro into them, you know? Insert something that gives you a perfect ledge dash each time. And the movements are so fast, you probably wouldn't be able to tell at all. You would be able to tell if you use the slippy replay feature, right? Because on the slippy replay feature, it gives you the exact inputs at all times. So if you saw a fox hit 15 perfect ledge dashes in the whole game, you'd be like, well, fuck, he's really, really good. But if you replayed it back with slippy replay, and you found that those the ledge dash input for all the for the perfect glint was those on those exact same frames 15 times in a row, you'd know for a fact a script was running because a human being can't do that 15 times in a row. It's literally impossible. You can't do things that frame perfectly. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below about bringing in modded hardware to cheat at a Nintendo party game, whether that makes you a loser or an ultra loser. Surprise, he went through it. Um, and if you have any stories of people getting away with stuff at tournaments and being caught for it later that gave them an advantage in gameplay, let me know. Everyone say bye, YouTube. But then I lose to Box Pikachu. Cheater! 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 Y'all cheating! I never even complain about the box. Y'all cheating! Cheater! You're cheating!